Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Uh, welcome back to Hylix. Find one of these boys. It's going pretty well, all things considered. But this fight is rather slow. I noticed that flesh is spelled wrong, but that's actually how you start to spell the word flechette, which means a small throwing knife. Hey, all right, $500 and a bunch of meat. Cool. So I imagine that's the hardest enemy in here. That was where I learned space shurikens. An attack I have yet to use. Nice. So it looks like they each drop 50 bucks. The cone cultists. Nice. And then that'll guard me, so I take less damage. Nice. So it looks like guarding affects the whole turn, not just the next attack. That attack is so cool. It's so awesome. Oh boy. Um, so I think I, I guess I just keep going until I, well, let's, let's go into the tent again, because it's been a little while since I checked. One moment. Pardon? Because Datus Mullen wants that paper cup, and considering the fact that he has a unique sprite, he's probably a, uh, party member. Okay, so it's equidistant from the small intestine, the large intestine, and the branch. I like that sleeping in the real world, or sleeping in the dream world, puts you into the real world. It looks like corpses persist, which is... In fact, they actually reset and do their death animation again. Which is pretty interesting. This is kind of a cool puzzle, because it requires a bunch of weird but unique objects to be put into the game world. Like, one can imagine, um... What's this guy's name? Mason Lindroth? Oh. Oh, hey! Acquired the paper cut. I was right here. Funny. Completely went by it. Oh, it looks like sleeping healed me. That's useful. Now we just gotta whittle our way through this guy. I love weird stuff. One of my favorite genres is this genre called the new weird, which is kind of strange in and of itself because the quote unquote new weird is about 40 years old by now. The cup, you found it. I'm an expert in the usage of paper cup. Please allow me to accompany you. One day we will come across another artifact from the old times, which will require the paper cup. What if? Magnificent, I will guide you when the time comes. Oh, he's with me. the life. Well, alright. Let's go fight some dudes, then. It looks like there are, um... It looks like the world is relatively pretty persistent. Uh, yeah, we have Data Simone with us. So Data Simone has less... Is less health. He also has a similar or same attack. At the very least, he'll help our DPS go up. Ah, so now we're Wayne's crew, eh? Interesting. Oh, 
Oh, Dennis Mold's blind. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what data small has. I really should have checked, all things considered. I'll check after this fight. Perfect. All right, so it's C. Hold on. Powers. He has access to Panorama. May confuse enemies and inflicts a slight damage. Let's see what you have. He has a Dirk. I guess I'll put that on him. Okay, so if you're just mashing through it, it looks like data small. If, if someone dies after someone else has already targeted them, it looks like whoever targeted them goes to the last in the rank. Which means that you can safely mash through these fights. Which is useful when grinding. Let's have you work on the cone statue. doesn't remember your cursor positions, though. Though it is just an RPG Maker game, I suppose. We've actually got a decent amount of health on us. I just want to do some more grinding. This is so surreal, man. If you ever get really, really sick to your stomach, just look at the big old box of soy milk over there. Let's try this out, actually. Nice. Okay. Oh, everyone's damaging the cone statue. Interesting. This is just the kind of weird I like. So it'll take a lot more for us to be killed now on account of our uh, two party members. I think that's everyone, though. I love that Wayne has, like, a cool guy leather jacket on. Alright, there is Motality U2, dude. Let's go find that, um, the little squirt box. Unless that makes him leave, in which case we shouldn't do it. Hmm. Hmm. We could also die. Right, it was around here somewhere. This is... This is the game, man. This is just my kind of game. Oh, actually, while we're here, we need to stock up on clothes for you, anyway. Alright. Allows the wielder to wield two weapons. 20% of the wearer's normal attacks inflict poison. Oh man, the 
theremin music really uh, helps the the whole so high I think I'm gonna puke feeling. Alright. Oh! Attacks have a 10% chance of blinding targets. That's cool. Alright, well. Let's get one of those. And one of these. Sorry, newcomer, but... Oh, this takes everything else off of him. Alright, so let's see. Huh, they appear to be the same. Well, hopefully that'll work out for him then. I just wanted to have something cool on it. Let's go the other way. Because of the weird way that game mechanics are implemented here, I can already foresee like a no healing or like a no bathtub challenge. Because you have to choose to level up, like you have to go cash your points in. I can see a no leveling challenge. Oh. A bat, a dirk, and a fork. So we have the second best one of these already, so I guess we'll continue on our way, sir. Maybe it was over here I need to go. Found meat. Perfect. Let's make some more of these, huh? I love how they just continue to be warm burritos. Alright. So, what's here? Oh, look at that. We can also run around here as well. So I imagine with the bonus of levels I've uh, taken in, as well as my additional party member, it should be easy now. Let's do one of these. Oh man. Weird magic, huh? Okay, I guess I can only heal myself. Let's try this then. Oh man, it makes me almost like sick to my stomach. Okay, let's try space shurikens. Uh huh. Oh, it just does double damage. Bucks and dynamite. Wowzers. Right, let's try this without getting too fancy. Data's mole is dead. Oh, Jesus. It's so weird. I don't actually mind games, uh, RPGs, where you only have one player. Sometimes they do that cool thing where it's not just that you have one player, it's that one player has a couple, has like multiple turns. Oh, he became nauseated. Cool. So that guy's poisoned.
Oh, stunned. It says, oh god. Oh my god. Nice. Now he's nauseated. Oh, he extruded a doom spiral. Okay, so I wonder if it's a deal where everyone has to die for the game to say like, hey, or if just you have to die. Nice. Let's go use that paper cup then, huh? We can use the paper cup with this machine. Your companion places the paper cup into a recess in the front of the machine and depresses a small blue lever. Fluid flows from the reservoir into the paper cup. You drink it and your will is permanently increased by 25 points. Oh, cool. I imagine we'll have to find a new uh, paper cup, though. Is this the place I want to go? It wasn't. Oh, well. I'll make my way to that guy's bath. Since I have more than enough cash to be getting on with. So often in RPGs, the main character is either a tank or a DPS, just to ensure that the player always has those types, those archetypes available. However, I think it would be interesting if... Or rather, they, um, they're either a tank or a melee DPS, or they're a jack-of-all-trades. Because that just makes the most sense to some people. Policerate. Policerate. Okay, cool. So as long as we tag team, they'll die. So what's this then? Access warp? Sure. Okay. God, this is really cool. Found another paper cup. Oh, cool. Where the fuck are we? What the hell, man? The vault is off limits, please go away. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. It's like, I'm gonna have to destroy you if you don't leave. You made me do this. Mustela Day, I summon thee. That means weasel. <laughs> okay. Guard, Mustela Day. Alright, well, most of them are asleep. Oh, <laughs> he ripped my flesh. Like, weasels ripped my flesh. Funny. Alright, let's see here. Okay, so they're not too terrible. Say weasel dance. Uh, Weasels rip my flesh is, I believe, a Frank Zappa song. Anyway, yeah, main characters are often jacks of all trades. I think it'd be interesting if the main character was like a healer. Like, because then you would have to have a heal in your party. And, like, the main character is not tough and they have to heal people. And that's an interesting thing to put on a main character. The 
weasels are the main issue here, I think. I like that the guard guards. <laughs> Only 75 bucks? Artificial bicep? 50 bucks. 50 bucks. A toilet. Bad juju. Oh, damn. All right. Learn detonation. Cool. Where to now, then, Datus Mum? Actually, this is probably a good place to pause it, so I will do so. Um, I've been trying to record a little shorter of episodes recently, just to, you know, reduce my workload, since I currently don't get paid. Um, but yeah, I've been Alfred. I will see you guys next time. This has been Helix. Hope you guys have a nice day. This is here.